A well-functioning digestive system breaks down food into vital nutrients that fuel energy, growth, and cellular repair, and more. But when there's an imbalance, you may start to feel the effects and wonder what is causing this. Hi there, I'm Dr. Michael Kay. I'm the founder of the Center for Functional Health, and today I want to talk about imbalances in the gut that may be hindering your digestion. Poor digestion can manifest through signs such as persistent digestive discomfort, irregular bowel movements, nutrient deficiencies, food sensitivities, and unexplained weight fluctuations. Your gut is filled with trillions of beneficial bacteria, and this is known as the microbiome. And this is important for supporting the immune system and metabolism. A pillar of good gut health and digestion is maintaining a balance between the good and the bad strains of bacteria in your body. Several factors can lead to imbalance gut bacteria and your digestion. But these are some of the most common ones that we'll talk about now. So a high sugar diet, I talk about this a lot. Studies show that consuming large amounts of sugar and processed foods can lessen the amounts of good bacteria that's present in the gut and increase inflammation. And then there's antibiotic use. Yes, sometimes we do need them, that's fine. By targeting harmful bacterial infections, antibiotics inadvertently kill other good bacteria that our bodies actually need. Then there's alcohol consumption. In large amounts, alcohol has been shown to increase inflammation in the presence of bad bacteria in the gut, and this is known as dysbiosis. Then there's lack of sleep. Sleep is a crucial ingredient of our overall health, and recent studies point to association between irregular sleep patterns and harmful bacteria in our gut. Avoiding these red flags and consuming gut-friendly foods can improve the diversity of your gut bacteria. I will often recommend probiotic-rich foods, such as yogurt, kefir, kimchi, miso, and sauerkraut, prebiotic foods, which actually feed the gut bacteria like bananas, garlic, and asparagus. And then there's fiber. Fiber is found in beans, whole grains, vegetables, and fruit. So let's take some action steps to restore your gut. You may have heard of digestive enzymes. So digestive enzymes are naturally occurring proteins responsible for breaking down food and liquids into smaller molecules that your body will absorb. But if your body is lacking in enzymes, you'll notice digestive issues that start to creep up. Digestive enzymes help the body access critical nutrients from food, which it then uses to grow and perform vital functions. There are three main types of digestive enzymes. There's amylase that breaks down carbohydrates, starches, and sugar. There's protease, which helps to break down protein. And then there's lipase, which works with the liver, allowing you to digest fat. And there's one other enzyme that you may be familiar with, and that's lactase. Lactase helps you digest lactose. That's the natural sugar occurring in dairy products. So when your body lacks enough digestive enzymes or doesn't release enough enzymes as it should, several uncomfortable symptoms can occur. And this could include uh, stomach cramping, malnutrition, nutrient deficiencies, bloating, diarrhea, gas, known as flatulence, and unexplained weight loss. When the pancreas doesn't appropriately secrete these digestive enzymes, it affects your ability to break down the foods you eat and absorb those nutrients. Thankfully, there are steps that you can take to support and increase enzyme production for better digestion. Digestive enzyme supplements. Many people that find that over-the-counter digestive enzyme supplements help with problems such as acid reflux, gas, bloating, and diarrhea. Combining these supplements with a probiotic has been shown to be very, very effective. Then there's enzyme-rich foods. Certain foods naturally have high digestive enzyme content. Incorporating more of the following can have a positive impact on digestion. So think about papayas, pineapple, local honey, avocados, miso, and ginger. I'm a big fan of ginger, absolutely love it. Now let's talk about one of the overload causes of poor digestion. Slow down, chew, and enjoy your food. If you feel like you've been eating all the right things, yet you're still experiencing unpleasant digestive symptoms, the problem may not be what you're eating, but how. Yes, chewing plays a larger role in digestion than you may think. When you don't adequately chew your food, you're actually creating more work for your digestive system. In turn, this can lead to stomach issues like bloating, cramps, and even acid reflux. Chewing is an important part of the digestive process, as saliva produces digestive enzymes that help move our food along. Here are a few tips for proper chewing that can make all the difference on how you digest your food. Breathe deeply. Before sitting down to eat, take a few deep belly breaths to promote blood flow and relaxation. Take a minute to pause mindfully before you eat a meal so you just prevent yourself from eating too quickly. 
pay attention. Rather than hurriedly eating in the car or mindlessly snacking during work, pay attention to what you're eating and avoid distractions like scrolling whenever possible. And then there's chewing your food. According to recent studies and traditional Ayurvedic practice, the magic number of chews for optimal digestion is approximately 20 to 30. I know, it sounds crazy. I tried it, it's hard, but even slowing down is helpful for proper nutrient absorption and can help in weight management. If you have digestive issues that are not corrected with lifestyle changes or getting worse, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Love to help you. That's it for now. Stay healthy and strong, and I'll see you soon.